All right, a friend of mine needs to do the piety grind, and he's going to do ensouled head. So I'm going to join him. Actually, in my inventory, I have all of my Slayer bones and things like that um, that I'm going to sell, including other heads. This is about oh well, let me take my cash stack out. This is about nine mil. I need to buy um, about twelve hundred or so ensouled dragon heads. But yeah, we're gonna go look at that and get ninety prayer bank. And as you saw in my inventory, I do have a couple regular heads that you can turn in for a prayer XP that we're going to do first. Um, I just took the ones that I thought I didn't need. Alright, let's go ahead and use this Ensouled Abyssal Head. There's 2500 XP. And then we're going to use this 5 and get 12.5. We got 15k there. Now we can start with the Ensouled Dragons. The only bones I am going to keep are the Dagonoth bones because when I would like to do AFK prayer, I would um, just use these on the Gilded Altar. But right, this right here, the 1239 and Soul Dragon Heads is 90 prayer banked. I'm very excited. All right, this will be my gear in inventory as well, killing the dragons. We have the runes to reanimate the teleport home to recharge as well and bank from the spirit tree here to the farming guild as well as one sip per inventory of the super combat to kill them i have high prayer gear like the devout boots and the arty cape because well one for stab but, but the prayer because i use preserve and and piety so let's get started the house also provides the transport to the um fairy ring as well just go to cis here all right, I found the best way, at least for me, to be doing this. Right in the middle of the altar, you want to mark the middle tile, the one right below it, and the one right to the right of the one below. And then starting here, you reanimate your dragon head. And every time, it um, reanimates on the tile below you. And then when it spawns, it spawns outside of the tiles, and it moves you back to the one to the right. Obviously, you kill it. And then as soon as it dies, you can go ahead and do the next one. It's like basically automatic. I've been here for 37 minutes and we're already over 100k an hour. And uh, speaking of, whenever we get our first hit here, that is our first prayer level, level 86. Very cool. Just realized that gave me 2175 total. Guys, this is the last dragon for 88 prayer and why that's such a big deal is not because of the level but because it puts us 100 more levels away from maxing that is so awesome and with this last hit there is 90 prayer you can now combine sigils with the blessed spirit shield if we ever get one which i'd like to go for one probably one day but mainly, that is the um, next skill within the 90s. Only two more, really. Two more levels and we're base 90. With that, we're also under 100k till 99 hit points. Surely we'll get that soon. <laughs> Alright, we just spent, let's see. 2.3 mil to do some upgrades around the house. Let's do it. Of course, you got to grab the carpenter's outfit and the saw. First thing here is to upgrade the cape rack, because why not? Now we have the magic cape rack. Looks good. And then second is the marble adventure log. Oh, that looks good. I did forget one other thing. We're going to go ahead and upgrade this. Uh, I thought I would never need to, but the Falador Park Teleport is really nice for this Clue Scrolls. So yeah. For those that know, the Halloween 2020 event just came out. Um, when you complete it, you actually get this magical pumpkin as one of the rewards. Now I thought this was a really cool reward because you can plant it in your house. I went ahead and got the required item. The watering can it needs to be full and you can plant the magical pumpkin. Oh my gosh, I love it. It even moves. And then it says, take candy. When you take candy, there's different colors. Um, but when you eat it, it says, ooh, piece of candy. <laughs> Gotta love it. All right, well, since Leagues is coming up, this is one thing I definitely need to do. 
I put in the most amount of money, 7.5 mil, 78 days ago, and this is what we're left over with. I'm going to add enough money for it to compound over leagues, but let's go ahead and collect this 5.85 mil in loot. Collect resources. Good lord. That is so many bird's nests. And we had 18 shots at the evil chicken. Let's do this. According to Runelight, that was almost 7.5 mil just in loot, so we're already at a profit. <laughs> so we just made a lot of money opening the seed bird's nest, but we got six spirit seeds. Let's go trade those in before I show you what we got. So just from the seeds, not including the bird's nest, we got 2.5 mil to sell. And then including everything I'm going to keep to farm and collect close to 3 mil. And with this potion make, 93 herb lore. That is very nice. Some of you know I've been at Zolware working on a 1k grind. And we just happened to get our next 99. 99 hit points here at Zolra. On kill 789, weirdly enough. Let's uh, go get the cape. All right, Surgeon General Taffany. Hi, how can I help? Can I buy a skill cape of hit points from you? Why not? You have the level. Sure, that's not too expensive. Let's talk to her again. We're gonna buy another one. Uh, yes. Awesome, guys. We got the hit points cape. Gosh, I dig it. Especially with Graceful. What this cape offers is when you're wearing it, it is two times restore on your health. And of course, let's do the emote as usual. Well, you can't do it in here, I forgot. For some reason, you can't do, the, do it in this building. But this one's a pretty cool skill cape emote. You still can't do it over here. What in the world? Okay, now that we're somewhere, we can do it. Again, <laughs> this again, this is a pretty school, pretty cool skill cape emote. Ooh, I like it. The other super useful thing about this, and the reason I got two, is because I'm gonna need one for when we do um, thieving. Obviously, it's gotta go to the cape rack, of course. Beautiful. In the background is just going to be some footage of a clan member of mine, an Iron Man actually, maxing his account. This will give me the time to talk about this past crazy week. These two videos this week were all from the progress last week. And even about 700 of the Zolra kills. I've been grinding so hard to get this content out for you guys, simply because Leagues is coming out in a couple days. And since I'm playing it on this account, I won't be able to play on this server. So this will be the last Max Journey video until the leagues is over. So be looking out for that series coming up. And speaking of all of this content, I've been trying to really improve my editing for you guys, even with volume and effects. And so if you really enjoyed this episode, please don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, or follow, as it really does help the channel.